Okay class, we're now on the third quarter of this school year. In this quarter, we will discuss about force and motion. Force is any influence that causes an object to undergo a change in speed, a change in direction, or a change in shape. Force can also be described by a simple concept such as push or pull. Okay, are you ready class? Do you have your module, ISN and ball pen? Our first module talk about forces and changes in shape. At the end of this module, you should be able to describe what happened to the shape and size of an object when force is applied. But before that, let's have a short review. Decide what word is appropriate for each picture. The force exerted by the kids in the tug of war is a blank. Push or pull? That's right, pull. Yes, the girl is pushing the cart while the boy is pulling it. Jose blank the ball to the ring. Pushes or pulls? That's right, pushes. Mario blank the string of the cart. Pushes or pulls? That's right, pulls. The boy is blank, the skateboard trolley forward, pushing or pulling? That's right, pushing. Okay class, first can also change the size and shape if applied to an object. Some ways of changing these physical properties of objects are stretching, bending, pressing, Hammering, squeezing, slicing, crumpling, cutting, twisting, folding, searing, and sharpening. Okay class, let us see and learn from the activities in this module. Observe what happens to the object size and shape when force is applied to it. As we can see in picture A, the shape of calamansi is round. After applying force by slicing it, as revealed in picture B, the shape was changed from round into dome shape. After squeezing it, as shown in picture B, the dome shaped calamansi changed and became deformed. Okay, for activity number two, look for five objects at home. Think of ways to change the shape of these objects. Fill the table. Ask your parents or guardian to help you in doing this activity. Okay, for activity number 3, you need the following materials. Rubber band, paper, and ruler. Measure the length of rubber band in centimeter. Before stretching, the length of rubber band is 10 centimeters. After stretching, the length changed to 27 centimeters. Before applying force, the length of yellow pad paper is 33 centimeters. After applying force by folding it, the length changed to 17 centimeters. Okay, let's now proceed to activity number 4. How does size change? Fill in the table by answering the questions. Can you change the size of blue bread? Yes, of course. How will you change their sizes? By slicing it. We can also change the size of shirt by folding or cutting it. Stretching will change the size of garter. Paper clip can be bent. Sharpening is one way of changing the size of pencil. Okay, let's now check your understanding. Read the statements carefully. Write true if the statement is correct. If false, 
change the underlined word to make the statement correct. 1. First can cause an object to change its size and shape. 2. Folding the towel can make it bigger. 3. Metals are bent and powered to be able to turn them into different shapes. 4. Stretching a garter is pulling both ends away from its other to make it longer. 5. Squeezing is pushing the object using the hands or fingers together. It flattens and turns the object out of shape. Now, check your answer. Here is the answer key. Do you get the right answer? Okay, you can now answer the post-test. Enjoy learning!